Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Willy, also known as Iron Python on Minecraft, and I'm here on my server Andoria to explain to you guys how you can get money on our server and uh, what the different currency means, how you can check, and all that stuff. So first off, um, how do you know how much money you have? Type in slash money, and it'll tell you. Now I've got 16,000 Drex. Now, Drex is one of the forms of currency, and Runes is the other one. You can kind of think of it like um, dollars and cents. A hundred Runes equals one Drek, just like a hundred cents equals one dollar. And so that's, in, you know, the easiest way to think of it. And it's also will be used mostly when you're using the market stuff. When you're buying things, it'll be put in Runes and that kind of thing. Now, as you can see up here, I, I set my balance to uh, to 16,000 because my original one was 1,315 Drex and 25 runes. Well, I set mine to 16,000 because that's how much you get when you first join our server. That's enough money to buy a art plot, which is 10,000, or a survival plot, which is 15,000. Now, do be wary if you buy a art plot. It will be harder to get a survival plot. You can own both, but you just need to get the money for it. So if you are running on an art plot, you start off with a little bit more money than you do on a survival plot, but you don't have a survival area to call home and bring your stuff to. So you got to kind of neck it out in the wild a little bit longer than most people will. Where if you buy a survival plot, you'll have less money at the end, but you will have your own plot of land, which means you can be protected by monsters and mine underneath it. Um, as well as you have a place to put chests and store your stuff for the market and selling. So I, we tried to make it even out, but um, do be aware of the difference on which one you choose to buy, because you can own both if you feel like it. Now, each world has a bank. Now, this is the one in Baldric, which is the home bank, if you will. And the only difference between this bank and other banks, I'll show you late, a little bit later when we get into it, but um, each bank has uh, a way of selling things to it and it'll only buy a set amount of things which is iron ingots, gold ingots, lapis lazuli blocks, and diamonds. So while you're out in the wilderness and you find some iron ore and that kind of thing you can smelt it down and sell it to the bank. This is the easiest and most efficient way of making money on our server. You can go out in the wild for half an hour or so find a good amount of iron and some gold and there you go you got nearly a thousand right there for just exploring for a bit and then you can use some of the materials that you found while you're gathering like dirt and stone and make other things and sell it at the market so exploring and selling to the bank is definitely the most efficient way now how you actually sell to the bank is you just left click the sign um there you go 10 drex now you don't actually have to have the item in your hand, it could just be in your inventory. So like this gold ingot isn't in my hand, but when I click it sells it to it. Lapis Azuli, you need to be aware that it can't be in the raw form, like when you break ore you'll get uh, around 4 to 7 little raw things of Lapis Azuli. That's what it looks like in my hand is the uh, Lapis Azuli kind of in a jar for my texture pack. That's not accepted in the bank. You have to turn it into a block, which is nine of those. So you go ahead and punch that, and see the the single form is still in my hand, but the block went away. And diamonds is the highest currency you can get, so definitely try and find those diamonds out there, because that's a thousand right there. Now, why I said that this has one thing that's special about it compared to any other bank, is you can buy back, which means if you need iron for something or you really need some lapis lazuli blocks or something like that you can right click the sign instead of left clicking it and you'll get one back but it costs you money it's not going to be free the bank wants this stuff and it doesn't want to give it out to you for free so it's going to charge you a bit it's not that much um it's 15 drex to buy an iron ingot where it costs 10 drex to sell it so it's about five drex different so it's not too bad uh, but if you really need it for that armor, you're like one iron ingot short or something like that, definitely you can go to the bank here in Baldric and you can buy an iron ingot and use it for that or some diamond tools, that kind of thing. 
every bank also has while I'm here, this isn't a way of getting money, but it's just something useful in the bank, is the global safety deposit boxes. You just right click it here, you grab whatever you want, like this lapis lazuli, I have another one in here, so I'll put it in there. And only I see what I what I put in there when I right click it. Nobody else will see my stuff. When they right click it, they'll see their own individual uh, inventory there. Also, all every bank has one of these and they're all connected. So if I go to the bank in Andoria, which is in the town Stalin, it's the one you teleport to. If you right click that, it will show exactly this inventory for me or whatever you put in for you. So it's uh, an easy way of storing some of your valuables, especially if you're using it for market, stuff like that. You can store it in there. Now, um, market is the next way of making money. Uh, obviously, the bank being the easiest. Market's a little bit more difficult as you're kind of chancing it, but if you can set the price right, you can definitely sell things. So here's the market square, which is one of the shopping districts we have. Um, currently, all the stalls are for sale. Are are for rent are renting right now um, I think all of them are full the second building for users is the Baldrick market here a lot of people are starting to move into here here's somebody who's selling uh, glass blocks he was selling dirt earlier but I bought it all <laughs> and he has some redstone dust and nothing over here but it is a two floor so definitely check this out too when you're buying things because if you're buying things it's best to look at the users first because they're always going to be cheaper usually. And then the NPC. Here's one of the NPC shops. There's one up in the Wizard's Keep, which is this building's hiding it. No, this is hiding it. <laughs> the Wizard's Keep is behind Walter right now, up there on that hill. Walter, move your head. If you uh, go up the ramp here, it'll bring you to the Wizard's Keep. They sell potions and ingredients. Um, also the blacksmith, if you go up those stairs, you can buy uh, iron tools. If you need books and paper, that's found at the post office. Other than that, you want to buy it from users. Um, actually, you probably want to buy from users anyways because they're usually cheaper. And all you do is you go up to one of these stalls, like let's say I want this glowstone. I left click it and it'll tell me he's selling one glowstone for 25 drex. To buy it, all you do is type in how many you want. Now he only has one for sale, so I'm just going to put one and enter and now I have a glowstone he'll get notified that he had one of his glowstones sold now if he's not online he'll get a notification when he logs on that uh, somebody bought his things as well so you can always tell if somebody bought something of yours when you set up shop now each shop has a uh, sign in the back here so you see it says hotel that's just because of the plugin we're using uh, I can't change that to make it shop unfortunately the next line is how much it costs. So this one will cost you 105 drex to rent for seven days. Now that's seven real life days, not game days. So if you rent this Wednesday, the next Wednesday at the same time, it'll go back up for sale. You want to make sure that you clear your stuff before you uh you uh finish with your stall because if you don't clear your things, your stuff will be taken away and given to the hell dogs of Andoria because they love munching on uh, items that people leave behind. So definitely make sure you check your stall. Like this one has 17 hours left. He needs to make sure he comes in here and gets his uh, lapis lazuli before uh, the time runs out or else he won't get it anymore, which isn't a good thing. Now here's my stall. I've got one day left. I've been running this for quite a while. Now to actually set up a shop, once you've rented, which is just right click the sign, uh, if it's available, this sign, not the one in front that's usually blank. You want to make sure you right click <laughs> the one that actually has the renting thing. Um, the ones in the market building are also there. They're inside the individual little shops uh, as well. So they're usually right behind the door, so it's easy to find. Now, all you do once you have the shop, you shift and right click on the slab while you're looking at it. Now, um, I being a GM have so many options, so let me just switch to uh, a lord which is my way of playing the game like you guys do which is what I usually do whenever I'm building my stuff <laughs> so I don't have GM powers um, when you shift right click it you'll see this basic and finite basic is just the item hovers above it it actually doesn't take it from your inventory um, this is best to be used when you're at your house so like if you wish to have some diamonds or something floating in a in a 
showcase in your house or something you can just type in basic and it'll just hover there it won't take it from your inventory so if you have one diamond you could set up five basics with that same diamond um, when you shift right click it again that will go away it won't give you a diamond or anything because it never took it from you uh, for shops though you want to use finite now finite can only be set up in Baldric. you can't set up a finite in uh, any other world so then I'll ask you how much you want to sell it for. So I'm selling glass. So for a reference for you guys, we kind of based our prices off of, you know, how hard is it to get? Do you use tools to get it? Do you have to mix it with other ingredients like, you know, dyed wool? You have to use another material in combination with wool to get it. Um, so for glass, I have to, you know, kind of think, well, how hard is it to get sand? It's not that hard. It's kind of found everywhere. So ha did I have to use a tool for it? Well, yeah, I used a shovel for it. And so, you know, that took time and effort, and I had to make a material to get the, the shovel. Um, did I have to do anything to make it into it? Well, yeah, I had to put in a furnace. So I used some coal. Either I gathered that coal or I bought it. And it took time because I had to smelt. So for a good price no less than one drek and no more than three or four dreks that's pushing it you're most likely not going to sell it a lot so for me i'm going to sell it for one drek and 50 runes so you do 1.5 and enter now it says how much do you want to sell well i got 32 so i'm going to sell all of it takes it from my inventory and puts it right there now when i left click it it'll say one drek and 50 runes per glass and there's 32 available i'm going to go gather some more sand and make some more glass and I shall be right back alright so I got some more uh, glass here I got another stack of 32 now I wanna restock my shelf here um, all you do is right click while looking at it uh, unfortunately I had the item in my hand so I put it up there <laughs> don't do what I just did <laughs> right click it without something that will build there we go so I got 31 of these items uh, how much do I want to put in there? Now, if I put a positive number, like 31, it will put it into the showcase. If I put a negative number, like negative 10, it will take it out of the showcase and put it into my inventory. Now, you can only do the, the restocking thing if you actually own this shelf. So I'm just going to go and put the 10 back there. And then when you're done, you just type in 0 or you walk away. And once you get far enough away, it will... Um, Someone said hi to me. Hello. Um, once you uh, once you walk away far enough, it will just cancel the shop instantly. That's the same with like buying things. When you're going to buy something, if you type in zero or you walk away, it will cancel the shop. Now, if you're removing it, all you do is shift and right click it. Now, I want to warn you guys right now. Keep this in your mind whenever you're removing a shop. If your shop has more than 64 items in it, the server, to prevent it from crashing, will not give you the whole group all at once. It will give you 64 and then it will give you more over time. To make sure you get all of it at once, right click it. By the way, this little glitch that's happening, that's only my side. It's client side, not server. Just disconnect and reconnect. It usually shows it back again. Anyways, um, instead of doing it that way, so do subtractions of like a hundred or so. So like if you're selling a thousand of an item, just go in as you're restocking and just say negative a hundred, uh, and just keep typing negative a hundred, and so on and so forth until it's gone. And then when it's done, as you see, when I right or left click it here, it says that there's zero glass. It'll she'll show it. Then you can just shift right click it, and there you go, the shop's gone. So that's the most efficient way because you will always get your items back if you do it in smaller quantities. Um, we're not reliable if you shift click a large one and you don't get all your items back because unfortunately there's no easy way of uh, seeing how many was in there beforehand. Um, so we will only give you back as much as the system registers it giving you back. Uh, so definitely make sure that you uh, do it by smaller quantities. Now the last way of getting money in our server currently, we will be adding more ways like jobs and quests and things like that, but uh, we don't have them implemented at this moment, is the casino. He keeps following me. I don't know why. 
So you know what? I'm gonna shove him over there. Um, here is the casino. So all you do is go up to the key here and I'll tell you what each thing means. Now the note block, that's what it looks like on my texture pack, is what you have to hit to play. Each machine has one on top that you hit and it'll start this uh, machine which has three rows for you know the slots. The uh, border is what these are so the stone border is this one and it'll tell you on top what machine it is. This is the money machine so much you might drop dead and then below will tell you how much it costs to use. So this costs a hundred drex to use. Let me go ahead and punch that and see if I win anything. Oh I almost got a uh, five hundred drex which is uh, gold. Uh, you'll get melons. This is 200 drex if you get three in a row. And this one is uh, 1,000 drex. And obsidian is um, 4,000 drex. If you can get an X, which can happen, you'll get three in a row diagonally. And then three in a row diagonally of obsidian, you'll get 8,000 drex. And you should probably just step away and like go back home. <laughs> because you'll probably not be lucky afterwards. Um, this is the building one. So you'll get things like grass not dirt grass blocks which you can't get normally in the game so that's very awesome for people who are building uh green stuff inside their house here is the hell one he keeps following me around i think he likes me i don't know it's kind of creepy it's the hell one uh this one will give you hell items um like nether wart uh, nether rack soul sand that kind of thing and here's the rune one which will give you things like uh ups um Lapis lazuli blocks, stone, and that kind of thing. And uh, if you really need to, there's a hidden one back here. It's not on the key. It's the Hobo Shack, run by Charles the Hobo. Uh, they don't let him in Banff anymore because he, he spent too much. Um, he's broke now. But he does have the Hobo Shack back here, which only costs 25 runes. And it'll give you things like stick and dirt and cobblestone and clay and um, flint that kind of thing well, I'm not being very lucky today but uh, this one has the highest percentage but it's also the cheapest um, yeah I'm thinking I'm going to uh, teleport him to some place he's not gonna like or following me <laughs> but those are the easiest ways of uh, making money in our server so I hope that uh, this tutorial kind of helped you out in understanding how to set up a shop, how the bank works, how the casino works, how the easiest way of getting money is. And like I said, we do plan on adding things like uh, quest. Uh, we will be setting up a mob arena over at the uh, arena, which is over that way. We're just waiting for Majestic Wind to finish that. And we will set up things like mob arena and GM games and uh, PVP versus games that you might have a chance of winning uh, money that way as well. Uh, things like that. We're always constantly adding fun ideas of that and we'll always announce it in the server and I might make tutorials on it so definitely pay attention for those. Um, this is Mr. Willy signing off. I shall see you all later. Comment below if you have any questions or ask me on the server or the forum and I shall see you later.